let's see how we can run windows on our phone using chrome remote desktop so click on the puzzle icon and go to the extension and go to the chrome web store you can also access this web store from chrome.google.com so we need to search for chrome remote desktop so type in chrome desktop or chrome remote it will search and load up the results you need to download the first one the chrome remote desktop it is official extension from google so download and install only this one i have already installed it so you will see this icon so you need to click on chrome remote desktop icon and it will this interface will open up first let's take a look at this remote support option so using this option we can control the screen of another laptop so when you click on this share the screen option uh, it will install an application which will help us to run this feature so once the download is finished you will see this option to install it will give you a prompt so it is going to install it on your system and then you will see this option to generate code so either you can copy the code of this device and then open up chrome remote desktop on another device and then share the code or you can just do, do the vice versa and paste the code here of another laptop so you can control the devices remotely using a laptop but to do this with your phone you know to set up this remote access just give it a name You also need to create a pin minimum of six digits number and then you can uncheck that option and click on next and this will start the process and you will see the device running and online you can see our device is now online and we can remotely connect it so open your phone and in the play store download this chrome remote desktop application open the app and you will see your device listed click on it then you will have to enter the pin that we created earlier so type in the pin and then it will start the connection process and you can see you can, we have successfully connected to our PC and you can see the the screen that we are on on the laptop the similar skin is on our phone we can zoom in and can like control the cursor with our phone so just rotate your phone into landscape mode and you can get a better experience you can control the cursor using your phone uh, like your fingers and it's very easy actually to use the cursor you can move around uh, you can see all these options of applications so it's like you're using your laptop but on your phone so it's basically connected to the network and it's working very well I've tried it a couple of times uh, just thought about let's make a video you can change the input method to touch your cursor so if you choose to touch you can see you can just tap on different icons to open or close them so this actually if you use it on a tablet on a bigger screen it will give a much better experience you can see you can just touch and open up different applications so it's like you're streaming the windows 10 from your laptop on your phone or tablet and you can do it for various tasks and anything it has limitless possibilities you can see it i'm on your my, on my phone and basically it actually mirrors your laptop so you can see at the same time you whatever you're doing on your phone also is happening on your laptop so if you close your laptop this will stop working so your phone your laptop your pc should be turned on 
and it even works on your mobile data so if you are not even connected to the same wi-fi network you will still be able to remotely control your laptop or pc from your phone or tablet so that is pretty good and it makes it very easy to access your files and everything from your phone whenever you are using your touchpad or mouse you will see this pop up saying that your device is being shared and you can stop sharing by clicking on this option and your phone you will be disconnected from the remote desktop so that is how you run windows on your phone using chrome desktop applications so that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one